Hey there, it's Jeremy from WebsiteBuilderExpert.com. Thanks for joining this short video. In case you haven't heard yet, Weebly recently launched a brand new Weebly editor, which updates their editor to make it more sleek and professional and updated. So what we have here is the old editor. It has been like this for many years, and Weebly recently updated it. And I'm gonna show you in this video what are the new updates and some of the really cool features that they added into the Weebly editor. So here's an example site. This is probably what you're used to seeing where you have elements at the top horizontal bar at the top and you just drag and drop these elements to build out your website. So now after they've launched a new editor, you can go try the new editor by coming to the top left hand corner and clicking this. And it's going to show you what the new interface looks like. The first impression is that it's very sleek, very updated, and the biggest change immediately that you see is that the elements bar is now on the left hand side. So depending on how you look at it, I've heard mixed comments, some people like it, some don't. The benefit of having it in the top where it was before is that it gives you a wider screen to work with in building your website. Having it on the left hand side, some people don't really mind it, so it's really a personal preference. The elements that they currently provide you remains the same, so you're going to get the same title, image, slideshow, and other elements uh, to build out your website, etc. One of a neat feature is that these little category tabs up top, so you can click on them and it's going to automatically scroll to the relevant section. It's not super helpful from my personal perspective, but it does add a little bit more interaction, should I say. But you can still scroll up and down with your mouse and you can just drag and drop any one of these elements into your screen. So for example, I'm gonna drag an image element. It works exactly the same as before, but they've just updated the interface and some of the images you can see here. It looks a little bit more modern contemporary than the previous version. Deleting it's the same. Just click on the little uh, X here and click delete. The way Weebly works remains absolutely the same. And the way you set up pages over here is the same as before. Adding pages and moving them in and out into forming sub pages, exactly the same. You'll see that some of the images have updated. Um, if you go to design, you can pick your color schemes from the buttons here. You can change your theme, okay, uh, by picking from one of the default themes, or you can go with a custom theme if you want. Notice that the preview block is now a lot bigger than the previous version, so you can see, uh, get a closer view of what sort of theme you're going to be picking. Coming back to the design options, you can also change the font in uh, from the site title, paragraph, paragraph text, and links. One really cool new feature is that when you hover over each one of these categories, it's going to highlight the corresponding area. So if I point my mouse over the site title, this site title actually is highlighted. Coming down to paragraph title, you can see this is a paragraph title right here. If I hover my mouse here, it's going to highlight the paragraph title and the paragraph text. So this just is a helpful little tool to give you an idea of what is going to change. If you click into any one of these, you can change the font, the size, the color, uh, the line height, etc. So same as before, but they've added this little touch to help you understand what will be changing a little bit better than before. You can add your social icons, your phone number, and you can also edit the codes if you're familiar with them. It still gives you the same option as before. And if you don't understand how to do coding, that's fine. You don't need to touch it, um, Just but the option is there. Another helpful addition is the site planner. Now, this is something that Weebly created and that's brand new under the new editor. If you click into it, it actually gives you step-by-step -step plan on how to build up your website. So it gives you some sort of roadmap. One of the things that Weebly has surveyed from a lot of consumers is that they fail to build their websites because they don't really have a roadmap. So Weebly has stepped up and created a step-by-step -step plan on how to you know, firstly determine your goals, what you want to achieve from the website, and sort of hold your hand into building a website that will work for you. The key thing is to get started. So that is their brand new approach and model and branding is to start something. So overall, you're going to notice that all the functionality is pretty much the same as before, except that they've updated their editor to make it look a lot better. And they also inserted a site planner to help you every step of the way. The third major addition is the mobile view. Now this is a very big addition to the Weebly editor. If you click on the mobile view right here, 
it will basically condense your website into a mobile view right in front of you. And I'm going to go over how to use this mobile view in a separate video, but this is a brand new addition to the Weebly editor and it's something you should definitely pay attention to as it will help you create a mobile optimized view. As you know, more and more people are jumping on the mobile phones and they're going to be visiting your website on their mobile devices more in the new future. So I'm going to go over that in a separate video. Thanks again for joining me and hopefully you find this video helpful in getting a lay of the land of the new Weebly editor. Please remember to watch our next video on the new Weebly mobile editor. Once again, it's Jeremy from WebsiteBuilderExpert.com. Thanks for joining me.